Before doing any quality control operations, you have to save your original file with the formulas and the name indicating it is the original data. Create a separate file with appropriate naming and versioning and ensure your data is stored as values and not as formulas. As you start manipulating your data, create a readme document or text file to keep track of your files and document your manipulations so that they may be easily understood and replicated by yourself or an independent researcher in the future. Your README file should document all the files in your dataset, including documentation describing their content and format, and lay out the organizing principles of folders and subfolders. Quality assurance stops bad data from ever being entered by checking to see if values are valid during data entry. So how can we carry out basic quality control and quality assurance in spreadsheets? You always have to always have to copy your original spreadsheet and work with the copy so you don't affect the raw data. Use data valida validation to prevent accidentally entering invalid data. Use sorting to check for invalid data and use conditional formatting to check for invalid data. Next slide. Now I'm going to show you um, how to apply quality control techniques to identify errors in your data in spreadsheets. Okay. We'll first do data validation. We will click on data and go to data validation. And we ensure that it's on any value. And then we change it back to whole number. And then we will type a minimum of one and a maximum of 24 and then we will click OK and then for instance I will try and type maybe number the value 26 and as you can see it does not allow me to do that because I have restricted this column to say I only want values between 1 and 24. Anything above that or anything below that cannot be in this um, column, which means um, that information is incorrect. So this is another way of ensuring that you are staying consistent to your expected results, making sure that your data is correct and you're limiting any incorrect data entry by error, um, should that happen, you know that when you've locked it or when you've restricted anything below the number 24, you know that it, it doesn't belong in this column, then you're gonna have to type it on the next column. You see it changes itself back to one as it was originally. So there, I didn't make an, an error, there was no error made because it changes itself back automatically. We will then also now look at sorting and we will first highlight this column, the way column, and then we will go back to home, go to sort, and we want it to um, to sort it as largest to smallest. And then we want it, to, we want it only to affect the current selection and not the, the whole table. So we'll click sort. And as you can see, it has now changed the order from largest to smallest.
we will also try to explore the conditional formatting and um, we will first highlight the waveforms column and then we will go to home and then we will go to conditional formatting and then we will choose a new row and we can choose any two color scale format and then click OK. And then we'll see that it is also colored some some numbers or some some values. And then the cells that contain non-numerical values are not colored, as you can see, because it has the grams. And then all the numerical values are colored. I think, but uh, you will explore more of these um, when you look at R or open refine.